Hello, I'm Master Scuba Diver Trainer Nick Wren, and today we're starting with Open Water Scuba Diver Course. First thing we're going to talk about, and I'm going to have the students do, is we're going to do a 200 meter swim and a 10 minute tread or float. The importance of these is as an instructor we want to make sure that if something happens to you in an all-out equipment failure in the middle of open water you can safely swim back to shore or to a boat. Then after that we're going to go over the following skills in dive one. First thing we're going to do is how to slowly and deeply breathe in a regulator underwater. Next thing we're going to go over is how to safely recover a regulator, clear it, and continue to breathe. Then after that, we're gonna show you how to clear a partially flooded face mask. And then we're gonna go over an out of air scenario where you have to buddy breathe. And I also wanna show you how to communicate underwater to identify the remaining air pressure in your tank. So stick around and thank you for watching my videos. We got a lot more to come. This is just part two of a series of open water scuba diver course. Okay guys, let's start. What you're gonna do right now, you're going to do the old 200 meter swim. What that consists of is eight and a half laps or 17 lengths. So you're going to start from this end and you're going to swim those eight and a half laps. It is not timed. You can't use the floor for assistance. You can't use the edge of the pool as assistance. You can touch it, turn around, but you can't rest and hold on to it. You guys ready? Go ahead and go. The main reason we make you do these watermanship skills in open water diver class is just in case your equipment fails for any reason while you're out in the open water and you need to number one make it back to shore or make it back to the boat. We as an instructor want to make sure that you can physically make it back without the uh, assistance of a wetsuit, dry suit, a buoyancy compensator and that sort of thing. So you have to have somewhat of a physical ability to complete these tasks so that we can sign off and say yes, we think this person's good to go and they're safe to go out diving on their own. Okay, you ever do that? Take your 
regular three miles, do the same thing. Now what we're going to do is keep your head in the downward position. I want you to put your ring in your mouth as you do that, and we're going to put our head under the water and blow out the candles and smoke the soup for about a minute. Okay? The pool. Make 
key here is to make sure that you securely have an alternate regulator to breathe from before you remove your air. That concludes today's training. Thank you everybody for watching my videos. Thank you everyone who's subscribed and if you haven't yet, please do so. Helps me out a lot. Please follow along, there's more episodes to come. I wanna thank Central Oregon Diving for their great support over the years and if you're ever in the area, please stop in and say hi to the folks at Central Oregon Diving. And if you wanna see part one of this video on how to assemble, uh, properly assemble a BCD, it's right here, so go ahead and click on that. Yep, there it is. Thanks again, we'll see you on the next one.